This is ram fill ballast. And I'm gonna explain why you want it and how to use it. From this screen, you can activate ram fill ballast right here. Or you can adjust them in the rider profiles right here. Once activated from the screen, you need to drive the boat 10 to 25 miles an hour to fill the ram fill ballast tanks. It is best to have a clear path on your waterway so you can drive until the ballast is full. The faster you go, the quicker they'll fill up. Here's the scoop that opens up to fill up the ram fill ballast. Because I know you and the fact that you love to talk about your boat, here's a talking point for you. This is how ram fill ballast works. It's all about mass flow. The volume of liquid coming in must equal the volume going out. To begin with, the ballast tank is filled with air, which doesn't weigh a whole lot, but you need to get water in there because you want the water weight. For this example, this water bottle will be your ballast tank, full of air to begin with. I put this under the water, then open the scoop by removing the cap. Even moving this through the water and trying to force water in, it doesn't really work. This doesn't work because the air isn't allowed to escape efficiently. It's the same reason you get gurgling out of a water bottle like this. So to solve this, you need a vent. Here's a vent on your ram fill. In the water bottle, I'll just drill a couple holes to create a vent. Now I do the same motion of forcing the water in and the air is able to escape and allows water in. This is how your ram fill works. Because the scoop is so large and you have vents, you're able to fill up your ballast really fast. How fast, you might ask? Here's how quick the ram fill ballast is. This is with the boat going about 13 miles an hour. That's a little over 2,500 pounds in a short amount of time. When should you use ram fill and when should you not use ram fill? Great questions. Cruising, no. Pulling a tube, no. Beginner wakeboarder, no. Intermediate wakeboarder, yes. For an intermediate wakeboarder, I would fill just ram fill. Kid wake surfer, I would fill just ram fill. That's it. Advanced wakeboarder, ram fill and plug and play full. Some people like ram fill plus plug and play, but no bow ballast on the wakeboard wake. I rode ballast full and I really liked it. That's just another option. But of course you would fill up ram fill and then you'd have plug and play on top of that for an advanced wakeboarder. Adult wake surfer, ram fill full plus plug and play. No bow ballast. This wave looks awesome. What about to drain it? You hit drain and start driving. Again, it is best to have a clear path on your waterway. You must get the boat up to 10 to 25 miles an hour. The boat even has an alert to let you know that. I normally drain the ballast while going around 16 miles an hour. Once ram fill shows empty, it should just shut off by itself. After you pull the boat out of the water, make sure to use trailer mode to finish draining the remainder of the water out of the tank. You also want to leave the boat in trailer mode while you're towing it. This will make sure that the tanks get aired out and then it limits the chance of invasive species growing in your tanks. Just make sure the boat is out of trailer mode the next time you're ready to launch it or the ballast will start filling up when you put the boat in the water. Now that you know about ram fill and how quick it is, what about quick surf? Naturally, I made a video just for you. Click here, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.